in Sudan when I was eight years old. We have to move places because there were no grass left for the cattle. I was in charge of moving 50 goats. We started the journey in the morning and by the noon the goats started to get tired. I noticed one of the goats was pregnant and needed help giving birth. I didn't want to ask anyone to wait for me, so I just stopped and helped. After I had taken care of the pregnant goat, I turned around and all other goats had wandered off. So I picked up the babies and followed the tracks to find them. I looked for hours, but they were lost in the bush. I worked all day with no food and water. I was exhausted, so I found a place to sleep at a highness house. I put the baby's goat in front of my head, so when the highness come at night, they would eat them first. In the morning, I kept looking for other humans. I drank water from the leaves and ate lula fruit from the trees. I started working for a long time, I saw a man, but then he had a big gun. He started running at me, and I ran as far as I could. I was so tired and there was spike in my feet from the trees. In the end, I fell over and he called me. I was hitting him, trying to get away from him. So he tied me up and threw me over his shoulders. He carried me for one hour until we got to the police station. The police locked me up in the hall so I couldn't run away. One of them went and got my parents and only five hours away. The other police gave me food, but I was too scared to eat it. It took 10 hours for my parents to get to where I was. When they came, the police said that my family had to give them a bull, but my dad didn't have a bull. So they said no, and there was a big argument. My dad is a policeman though, so in the end, the police agreed to give me back to my family. I was so happy to see them and happy that I didn't die. And I survived all the animals and no food, no water. We walked back to the village and my grandma was waiting for me with all the goods. She had been saving all the milk from my cows in an empty much. And when she saw me, she poured them all over my head. And she said, next time, don't be too proud to ask for help.